Good morning, and welcome to the Friday Morning Telecast. We have a lot of people to hear from today. We want to talk a little bit about walk and bike to school that happened this Wednesday. And um, we're going to hear from Mr. Filippini, who is Olivia's dad. He's going to talk about raising hope and a few other things. Great stuff. Let's see what you're doing around campus first. Mrs. Lee, who has been teaching you second step in the classroom. Hey, Mrs. Lee, I was in a classroom the other day when you were busy teaching about similarities and differences, and I wanted you to talk a little bit about that. Why is that an important lesson? Well, yes, we were talking about how we are all different. We are, we look different, we like different things, we also have different feelings, and we were talking about how those differences are okay. Huh. Mm -mm. You know, it is what, now I want to go back to what you said about different feelings, because you said something interesting that sometimes we may feel differently about the same thing that happens. Yes. Yes. So I might feel one way and you feel another way mm -hmm. and, and that's okay. Um, I'm not, I'm not necessarily right. You're not wrong because mm -hmm. of that. It's just okay to be different and, and we want to respect those differences mm -hmm. and also to have empathy um, and understand you feel differently, mm -hmm. but that's okay. And I can try to see it from your point of view. Mm -hmm. So instead of maybe getting mad at someone because they feel differently than us or they look differently than us or they, they may maybe even speak a different language than we do. 
Yes, you, you know, we want to celebrate those differences. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, when we were talking about similarities, we were saying, even though we look different, like different mm -hmm. things, if you talk to someone long enough, you're going to find something that you have in common with them. And you want to celebrate those similarities as well and, and just connect to other people in those ways. Oh, it's so important and connecting yeah. to people. And connecting with someone doesn't mean that you're all going to be the same and like everything and everything's just gonna be rosy. Right, yeah, no. Um, we don't have to like all the same things, but we can be respectful of, the, mm -hmm. of those things, that, of those differences. Um, so yeah, and that helps us to get along better in class, and mm -hmm. it helps us to have just a, a great um, school community. I love that. You know, mm -hmm. it makes me think of another word is understanding. Yes. Like, to, to understand that someone feels differently or has a different lifestyle than we do. Right. And that's okay. Yes. And is, is, okay. is anyone better than anyone else? Really? No, nope. no. Nope. We're just, you know, we're different and different is okay. Yeah. Dr. B and Pete the Cat here. Uh, we're reading about kindness and you've heard this one before. We'd like to read it to you again. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Be kind because everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Hmm. Pete says, with a smile and a little kindness, you can make someone's day better. Awesome. It's true that we all have different struggles and battles that we are fighting ourselves. And sometimes it's hard to see those, right? So if we assume that someone else is also, you know, they might be having a hard time too and we don't even know it. Instead, instead of assuming it's only me that's having the hard time, maybe someone else is too. Maybe that will make us think first and act kind next. Thanks. It's time for student recognitions. Here we go. We're going to mix it up a little. In Mrs. Kono's class, Mrs. Kono's kindergarten class, for all their great ideas of how we show respect. Awesome job. In Mrs. Earl's class, we have Tirza, Madison, Destin for passing a Lexia level. All right. Andrew for being a helpful classmate without being asked. And Kareem for always having his eyes on Mrs. Earl's when, he, when she's teaching. Miss Northrup, Nicholas for passing a Lexia level. Weston and Ariana for being good friends. Thatcher, Genevieve, Declan, and Moritz for passing all of their Mac, math facts. Fantastic. In Mrs. Robinson's class, Mason, Kaya, and Maya for completing Alexia level. Awesome job. Travi and Rain and Renee for being good friends. Awesome. In Mrs. Marmay's class, all of my students who ran for student council, you are so brave and talented leaders. Eva, Emily, Isabella, Halo, Bibi, and Clara. Great job. In Miss Lou's class, we have Jackie for always getting Kingston's chair ready for the morning session. And, uh, and also Benjamin for continuously mastering math skills such as numbers, expanded forms. Wow. I am here with Fabiana Lake from SB Bike and Coast. And we're gonna talk about walking and biking to school. Well, you remember Wednesday, was walk, is National walk, to, walk and Bike School Day. And some of you actually walked with Dr. B to school. So uh, let's, talk to, let's talk to Fabiana. I wanna ask her a couple questions. Fabiana, what's so important about kids walking and biking to school? Well, Liz, there's many reasons that kids should walk and bike to school. One reason is that it's very healthy for our minds and our bodies. Um, walking and biking wakes us up in the morning. It gives us exercise, which makes us ready for class. And it also helps us be healthy for the rest of our lives. Um, it's also healthy for the earth. So when we drive cars, we put carbon dioxide um, emissions into the air, which causes global warming and also makes animals and plants go extinct. And it makes, us harder, it, makes it harder for us to breathe. Yeah. So when we walk or bike, we don't pollute at all. And we're helping to save the planet. Um, That's amazing that right? oh no you have more oh my I gosh have, she has I have more, more. <laughs> oh I love it okay um, it also saves us and our parents money the gas that we put into cars is very very expensive and so is car maintenance but when we bike it's much less expensive and walking is free and the last but not least reason is it's fun <laughs> it's so much fun to move our bodies and we can walk and we can ride with our friends and our family that is awesome. You just gave me so many 
so many reasons and ideas. And, and you know what's fun is we're going to be doing an essay project, oh, yeah. uh, you know, like a, a writing project where um, students write about that. So our Hope Scholars are going to write about what is it that I like about bike riding bikes and walking and what, how is that good for the environment? And also for upper grades, we're going to send your letters to Kathy Murillo, the, the uh, mayor to see if she can help make our, um, give some ideas to her about how we can make it safer to walk and bike and also uh, how to promote that. Yay. Um, we are so excited for that. That's going to be such a fun activity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we'll share them with you too. Oh yeah, we would love to read them. Awesome. That would be great. Maybe we'll put some on your website. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that would be fun. Better. Yeah. So you guys, you scholars out there, you're going to be published. So make yeah. sure you, I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Um, you know, so we've got parents who drive. Is there any, do you have any messages for parents at all and, and driving? Yeah. yeah, I do. I have one thing to say to parents. Um, if you are driving your kids to school, which I know some people have to if they live really far away. Of course, we encourage everybody to walk and bike to school if they can. But if they're unable, for parents who are driving their kids to school, we want to make sure that we're mindful drivers and we drive slowly around the mm -hmm. schools. If someone's hit by a car going 20 miles an hour, they have a 90% survival rate. But if a person is hit by a car going 30 miles an hour, they only have a 60% survival rate. So that's a big, big jump. So parents, even in your haste, if you must drive your kids to school, make sure you're driving slowly, cautiously, and being aware of the many moving children around you. Wow. That's an incredible statistic. It's actually kind of scary. And, yeah. you know, after talking to you, Fabiana, and I spoke with a few other people from SB Bike and Coast, and I realized I'm driving to work too much. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think about my own comfort over the good of the earth. So yeah. I've now made a new pledge. I'm going to be walking to work more often. Yay. Those yeah. And you'll happen. notice, I'm sure you'll notice you feel more invigorated and awake, you know, it's fun. Once you start doing it, it's really fun. <laughs> Good. I'm going to try it out. We had a great time this Wednesday. So hopefully that's good. Awesome. A whole new path. Yes. A whole new bike path, a whole new walking path. There we go. All right. <laughs> Fabiana, thank you so much for the great messages. And yeah. I'm excited. Thank to you see so you. much. Bye, everybody. I hope you start walking and biking more. <laughs> Here's the writing activity I talked about with Fabiana um, that you will be doing if your class is participating. And this is about walking or biking to school. So for lower grades, for those of you uh, in the lower grades, you will write this one, which says, why is walking or biking to school better than driving in a car? There's a place for a picture and also room to write your reasoning. Why is walking or biking to school better than driving a car? And then next for upper grades, it's a little more complicated because we're sending this to the mayor, remember? So if you walk or bike to different places, what are the benefits? If you do not walk or bike to different places, places. What prevents you? Why don't you? And then write a letter to Kathy, the mayor, Kathy Murillo, explaining how she could improve the safety of your walking and biking. Routes. It's time for Student Recognitions Part 2. Here we go. In Miss E's class, we have Alex and Adrina for excellent listening, Amy and Marin for choosing books they love, and Mila and Melissa for neatly done work. In Mrs. Talley's class, we have Emily, Hazel, Savannah for passing Alexia level, and Saul, London for being able to read all of our sight words. Mrs. Foster's class, we have Kate for passing Alexia level, and Shepard, Ella, and Cash for amazing participation in class discussions. In Mr. Anderson's class, we have Aaron, Ariana, Andre, Aaron, Asher, Amy, William, Theo, Coral, Enik, and Logan for reaching their first big reading goal. Awesome. Mr. Barker's class, we have Camden for working so hard on his writing. Sienna for always putting in her all. And Lulu for having such a big heart. It's time for waypoints. Here we go. La, la, la. Here we are. Okay. Let me find somebody here. First waypoints. Andre Cardona. Awesome job for good citizenship, for respect, and for responsibility. Awesome job, Andre. 
Next, next, next. Oscar, for showing responsibility. Great job, Oscar. Here we go, one more, one more. For picking up trash, Kaya. For picking up trash, good citizenship. Awesome job, Kaya. Hi, Hope School. So this month, we're gonna focus on our first character trait, trustworthiness. So we have a little song for you to think about and sing throughout the month to help you be trustworthy. Here we go. I wanna be trustworthy. I wanna be someone you can trust. I wanna be trustworthy. Trustworthy this month, Hope School. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. I am here with Mr. Filippini, and not only Mr. Filippini, but he's Olivia's dad, right? Uh, hi, Mr. Filippini. How are you? All right. Hey, I want to ask you a little something. Um, you know, we started our steam, our steam team started. So our art, our music, um, our, our steam class are in the steam lab and, and PE, all that started already. And I want to know, how is, how's Olivia finding that? 
Oh, she's loving it. I can always tell when she has art because her hands are covered in <laughs> markers or paint. She has a little something on her face. Uh, <laughs> she's so excited because in music, they're starting with instruments. Oh, and she said, we get to play bongos and drums and all of that. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, uh, Coach Shapiro, she's getting yeah. to move around and oh, excited. That. Oh, yeah. And something about who let the dogs out. I, he I heard about that. <laughs> Good. Hey, I'm so glad to hear that. And I know other kids feel the same. Our, our Hope School scholars are getting, all of them get STEAM team. And it's really thanks to the PTA, which you're, you're a member of the PTA, aren't you? I am. And, you know, I've been coordinating, trying to get um, some local businesses, but more mm -hmm. importantly, the families involved and their donations are really what keeps all of that going. And it's really because of the families and their donations, raising yeah. hope. Yes. Um, yes. So, okay, so I, you I just really appreciate it. That's great. So you just said raising hope. And that's basically that campaign that we have where we raise money so that we can pay for those specialists. That's one of the main ways that we raise money so that our scholars get to have all of these wonderful things that you were talking about. They get their face covered in, in markers. They get to play bongos. They jump around and who let the dogs out? And I saw this week they were making these amazing little um, cubes and doing some origami in, in Steam Team. And they, they were also um, creating books before. So that's awesome. So yes, it's up to our parents. So Mr. Filippini, Olivia's dad. This is why I kind of wanted to have you on the, on the telecast, because I wanted you to just go ahead and make that plea for our parents. Well, and you know, everyone who's donated so far, we appreciate it. And everyone that's going to be uh, helping us out donating, we really appreciate it. Our kids appreciate it. You can really see it in their faces and their work. And I just th thanks everyone. And thank you, Dr. B, for getting this set up for us and having such a great school. So the kids are nice and happy. That's awesome. I thank you. And I thank PTA. And I thank all of you out there for your contributions to Raising Hope. So we get to keep our kids growing their brains in many different ways. All right. Thank you, Mr. Filippini, Olivia's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. B. Thank you, everyone. All right. All right, everybody. See you around campus. <laughs>